What's up everyone? Dropping some knowledge today. My latest review is a book. It's Dan Meredith, How To Be Fucking Awesome. Great name for a book. Here's the cover. The man's got a beard. He's put a swear word in it. What more could you ask for? So yeah, I'm gonna give you the lowdown of that very quickly, very brief. So check it out, peace. Okay, so first off, we're going to talk about the concepts. What is this book about? Well, for all intents and purposes, this is a self-help book. How you can make yourself a little bit better every day. You know, don't get scared by that shit. It don't mean that you're going to be like evangelized or, you know, fucking doing some yoga or something like that. It's not necessarily about that kind of stuff. It's a very down to earth, straight talking book about how an individual who from what he says in the book has become a successful businessman, leads a good, healthy life. And all he wants to do is share and drop some of that knowledge with you. All right, so what are the principles of the book? What can you take away from it? What can you learn? I'll touch on a few of them. It's all about really, you know, if you're sitting there and saying, I need to pull my finger out my arse and, you know, get that job, get that promotion, make some more money, get fit in the gym, you know, some of the ideas around how you can do those things. Prime examples, if you're thinking about setting up a business, if you think about doing a YouTube video, you know, don't spend five weeks perfecting this initial video that you then send out and no one listens to you know because what you're better doing is doing a quick video you know these tend to take me you know like 10 minutes and showing it to the world if it's not perfect slightly change it do it again you know be quick you know don't fear rejection take failure as room for improvement like michael jordan said you know he missed a load of shots but you know, that's what made him great. You know, he learned from him, built on him. So concepts like that, there's also concepts around time management, about priority management, all those kind of useful things that you can learn when you read the book. All right, so finally, what do I think? Now, I've read the book, and if you are someone who's not kind of a bookworm or an academic, doesn't really like the idea of you know touching books or but you want to help yourself this is a great starting point because it is a page turner it's written very simply but not in a bad way you know it's just very down to earth it's like a bloke at a pub having a chat with you you know he drops the odd f-bomb and swear word you know so it, it kind of makes it interesting you know it makes it easy to read it makes it accessible uh, and you don't feel like you're being a necessarily preach to so from that perspective you know if you're looking to start the new year afresh and feel motivated and you're not really into reading books i'd say give this one a go i'm with amazon prime and i got it free that was the only reason i looked at this so it's free as well my wife also has looked at it she don't really read much and she quite likes it she's reading it at the moment so thumbs up from the wifey dan uh, personally with me the other thing I'd say is if you're an academic and you read a lot of books this may be not for you because I'll touch on reviews around you know habits of highly effective people power of habit Oz principle you know there's there's many famous books that do something similar to this that back up their claims so if they say you should priority management prioritize in this way this is why and here's the proof this is really what Sorry, this is really the guy just preaching what he thinks. It's not nothing wrong with that. He's been successful and he's done it his way and he seems to be well read. So it's probably backed up. It's just a ball ache doing all the Harvard referencing and shit like that. So uh, be wary that it's just kind of one bloke's opinion, I'd say. So, new reader, give it a go. More seasons reader. You've got a train ride or a flight to catch, you know. Why not? We all want to be fucking awesome, don't we? So, uh... Check it out. Peace. Live the dream.